Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and I'm going to, as promised, present to you a J Advanced PYQ, means previous year's questions, papers plan as a part of your practice as we move towards the J Advanced in June 2023. Okay, so um, just uh, before we move on, let me remind you very quickly that there is a J Advanced crash course in our Physics Sergi app the batch two of which has already started and the course is going to start from February 6th. So in case you haven't checked it out, there was a video that was made uh, to explain the features of this batch two and also the differences between batch one and batch two. So the video link is in the description below and the I button above. You can go ahead and check after this particular video. Right. And also within two days time, as also promised a week ago that we would be announcing our JE Advanced Physics practice test series. Okay, so uh, the basic features of that and also uh, all the qualities will be explained in that video within two days when the launch happens. But uh, the primary goals of that series would be to ensure that there is a relevancy to the questions given in the test series and proper detailed solutions are given after the tests are over every day and also the quality of the questions so that there is no repetitiveness to the questions and along with the uniqueness that is uh, there for a JE advanced exam would be taken care of. And regarding all the questions for the prize, once I announce the prize, which I'm working on, I'm pretty sure all of you would love the prize, especially the students who are already part of batch one and batch two. Uh, I won't leave any room for any complaint regarding that prize. Okay, so that's a promise from my side. With all those things aside, um, uh, there is a result of the poll that I've conducted um, on the final day of JE main session or examination regarding how was your status of JE advanced PYQs. And this was the result as expected. I know a lot of students who are studying for JE advanced don't touch the PYQs or the previous year's questions that much. Okay. So you could see almost nearly 80% and above are in that particular category. Why are PYQs important? If you see the thumbnail of the video, I call it as the first step towards the JE advanced success. Why first step? Because this is not the only step. Unlike JE mains where PYQs are everything, in JE advanced, PYQs are not everything. They are necessary at the start to warn you about the need that you have. That means while doing your PYQs, you'll know in which topics you are actually uh, lacking and in which topics you are supposed to work upon. Not only that, it will warn you what is the boundary of the syllabus, what is the level that is needed. And there are two types of students who actually think JE advance is easy for them it will show what is the toughness required. And there are some students who unnecessarily think JE Advance is very tough. For them also, on the other end of the spectrum, it will try to warn them, no, no, it is not tough. It just needs certain problem-solving abilities. So this is the step one, what, what JE Advanced PYQs tell you. And also, while you solve them and while you prepare parallelly, remember, only solving PYQs is not going to uh, give you the result. But as you keep solving and also have a parallel plan, which will come with either your crash course or test series or any other preparation that you are having, it gives you confidence to enter the final exam and attack the problems. Okay, so keeping these things in mind, because it's, this is our first step, I want to give a free resource and an advice to you people as you start your journey towards your final leg of JE Advanced Preparation. So as is the case, right, most of you already know this, but for new students watching, you just need to download the Physics Surgy app from the Google Play Store. This is the spelling, Android app, okay? And once you go inside that app, log in using OTP and all that, at the top left corner, there is these three lines you press and there is a drop down. There is a free study material part. This is free. Right, you go inside that, even the past study materials you'll be able to see. And once you go inside, you'll get all these folders. On the top, you would see the new folder I introduced while making this video, JE Advanced Paperwise PYQs 2022 onwards in backward direction till 2008. All the papers are printed into one file. Okay, right. And within that, you'll get two files. One file is for the papers and second file is the plan that you use to or I am trying to advise you to use in the coming four months in order to prepare for your JE advance. Okay, I'll give you the dates and which day I feel which papers should be attempted. Okay, for that you need to just download the Physics Surgy app and access these files. And these files are in the printable and downloadable format. You can just download them and print them as per your need. Okay, right. 
So once you go inside, what's the uh, es uh, essence of that particular file is, I have not retyped those files. Those are the files taken from the JE Advanced Archive, right? And I kept the as it is the same JE print and font, right? You need to just print those files and practice them directly. Not only that, at the end of each paper, I have actually printed out the uh, the JE advance final key as given by them. You could see if a particular question was given as a bonus, it's pretty much printed as marks to all and all that final JE key is put at the end. Okay, right. I'll just show you a glimpse of how those file look like. Okay, so this is the file and this is the first page. Okay, so it and it starts with 2022 paper one. You could see all the questions. Uh, the keys are removed and put at the end. Okay, right. And you can just scroll down all the question papers in the reverse format are there. Okay, right. So that's the whole idea. And at the end of each paper, for example, this is 2021 paper two, this is the final key. All the ranges and everything are present. Okay, you might say all this is already available in the JE Advanced uh, Archives website, right? But there's a problem there as I visited. Uh, every year they keep changing them. So either in that particular archive website final key is not available only question papers are there or in some of the years i have seen the question papers are such that each question is followed by the key in either case you cannot use them as practice papers because if you don't know the final key there's no use or after every question let's suppose let's say you're reading this question and there is a key printed here you cannot use it as an exam so my job was to just make sure that the compilation is done in a way that it helps the students to practice our free PYQs file in, in, in one file, all the question papers are there. It's somewhere around 279 pages, including the keys separated out at the end of each particular paper. Okay. So this is the first part. And this anyway, you would have got it from someone else also, but the second part is the plan. Okay. So this is the plans glimpse i'll show you the pdf also right and the plan i would expect you to start from 8th of february okay so i have written down what i feel is the order of the papers that you need to practice you may club these with other subjects also like maths and chemistry but my basic idea here i'll explain when i write only p1 that is paper one that means that is only that one hour physics paper. You may club it with maths and chemistry, which makes it a three hour practice. It all depends on what other works you have. Okay. But whereas when I write both P1 and P2 on one particular date, I am expecting you to take this 2016 paper, both paper one and paper two on that particular date. Okay. Some of you might say that I have already seen some of these questions. It doesn't matter. You just write the exam. And you will get that feel question after question when you actually see the JE advanced level question. If you already seen, get it correct. It's fine. And you see those marks, what you are going to get, you'll get that confidence. Okay, this is the level of the questions that are being used. I started with 14 because I consider 2014 is one of the easiest papers. It's always good to start with an easy paper. And 16 is something where they started the partial markings for the first time. So that's why in every month, I want you to write uh, one particular day, both papers. Okay. Otherwise, I have put only paper one or a paper two on particular day. And even the sequence of these things, you would see, I'll just open the file for you. Okay. So this is how the file is going to be. So I hope you can see it on the screen. So you keep going. This is the March. And you could see after 2018, I went for 2019. I have not touched 2020 and 2021 and 2022. I want to keep it for March and April. Okay. And then 2015, which is one of the toughest marking schemes where everything was negative marking, no partial marking. I have split it up between 15th March and 18th March, which is one month from now where some of my crash student, crash course students will finish their syllabus. Okay. Right. Despite finishing your syllabus, please attempt these papers. It's okay. Even if you are not revised the entire thing, just attempt the papers in this sequence. You will as you prepare, you'll get to know where to concentrate. If you have finished revision of a topic and you lose the question, you need to revise back. If you have not finished the revision of a topic and you lose, lose a question in a PYQ, you know where to revise. These are the two aspects that will be taught when you take the PYQs. Okay. And I put the one of the toughest papers of 2020 somewhere in the end of the March. Okay. And as you move along, at 29th March uh, is somewhere you break up and try to practice some mains PYQ papers, I would suggest uh, 
2023 shift one papers themselves you said you try to make a plan from yourself entire may i am not putting any plan here because i would like you to use in the file 2013 onwards to 2008 papers in reverse as time bound assignments okay because here most of you will be having session two examination so you can break up your plan as per your need but use 13 onwards to 8 onwards byq papers as time bound assignments just sit for one hour choose one of these random papers during this april period and try to write down okay once i announce the test series this particular gaps will be filled by some of the uh, grand tests and part tests okay so you could see in the plan i have put some dates okay in which the gaps are being presented so these are the dates where our physics surgery test series will be a part okay what are the, how many part tests how many grand tests i will be having in these gaps i will also announce in the upcoming video within couple of days okay so then this particular plan will become an integrated plan those who take the test series they'll have the pyqs to solve as as it is along with the gaps filled by the other practice papers that i am going to give in that series okay so you could see at the end somewhere in may i'm asking you to write 2022 as the complete paper then again 2021 as the complete paper okay and as, as you move down again you have to go to the easy papers at the end so, so that you can get the conference so 20 out of the last three years 21 is slightly easier okay so i have put that in the mid of may and then uh, one of the easiest papers is 2017 in the last few years so I have put that as a split in the end. So almost we have covered all the papers. And when I'm going to fill this one with the rest of the test series, these are the short forms I'm going to use. PTA means part test. GTA means grand test, which is full syllabus. And TYQ means previous year's question papers. So I hope I have explained the test series properly to you. Not test series, the TYQ plan. Okay. And uh, students uh, who... Uh, are preparing for JE Advance on this channel are divided into two cases. Those who are not going to be part of my test series or crash course or anything, they also are supposed to use the PY, PYQs plan because PYQs is common. Whether you pay money to a teacher and take a course or not, it doesn't matter. One common thing everyone should know is that they have to finish the PYQs and that you are supposed to please make sure do it. In case, case of a case two where some of you once I announce it on Sunday, you become a part of test series. Then the test series will be integrated into the gaps of the PYQs plan. I hope that is clear. And the announcement is, as I expect, explained, coming in two days, I'll try to explain everything there. Okay. So for all of those announcements and everything to be on track, and even in future, the coming one month, if I'm giving some free resources again and again, Right, uh, making YouTube videos would be very difficult because I'll be busy. You should be downloading the app, Physics Surgery app. You can uh, go to the pinned comment below. Right, in that pinned comment, all the details will be there on how to access this app from Android mobiles. And also the web access will be given. And uh, rules and regulations of the app, you can search from the app launch video. Uh, link of that app launch video, I'll put it on the uh, description or the i button above. Okay, and that's it. Uh, happy learning and make sure your PYQs papers wise, uh, time bound wise is part of your plan and try to integrate maths and chemistry also into this particular plan in order to ensure you have a proper uh, efficient way of attacking the JE advance exam in June. I'll try to come up with a lot of help from my side in this channel. Until then, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. So see you in the next video, uh, that exciting test series announcement.